Hi there, I'm Sten from the Dutch blog, and today I want to talk to you about Dutch Zweiklanken, uh, or vowel combinations in English. So, the Dutch Zweiklanken, the word itself, means two tones. And that's because these vowel combinations, they um, exist because they, they, it's a combination of two different uh, vowel tones. Yeah, I'll get to that in a bit. So, Zweiklanken are fixed combinations of two or more vowels, right? That means that wherever you encounter them, they're always pronounced in the same way. So, for you, that just really means to recognize them and to pronounce them correctly, you just gotta learn them by heart. Yeah. <laughs> do learn them by heart, though, because they're all over Dutch. So, it's a good thing to do. So, in total, there are 16 vowel combinations. So, there is, um, there's a, there's ai, there's I, and there's au. Now, I will pronounce, I'll take au together with au, the O-U au, because they sound the same, they look different, but really, I mean, they're totally interchangeable. They even mean the same thing. So, yes. Then there are still more, these are only the first four or five um, of all 16. We'll get to those in later weeks. So, let's look at these. So, Ah, that's the first one we have. You might think, ah, but it's A-E. Yeah, the thing is, A-E is like an old uh, old combination that we don't use actively anymore in Dutch. Uh, but you might still find it in some um, names, especially in Flanders, so in Flemish Dutch. Uh, for example, Jan Frans van Dau, uh, who painted this thing. Yeah, beautiful flowers. That's all you need to know about A-E, you just say... Ah, that's all you do. It's pretty simple. I. I is a combination of a and e. And if you put them together, you have a, e, glide, and you get i. You see, that's what the Tveklanke thing is about. That's what I just told you. You have two different sounds, and they combine and become one sound, because they glide together. Now... I itself is very uncommon in Dutch. You might find it in hi, which is hi, right? Which you write like that. It's pretty uncommon by itself. What you might also see is words like uh, samurai or chai, right? They're, they're words from a different language and they're imported and we just say them like that and that's where the I comes in. Another word where I is pronounced differently though is eight. Which you just, you know, pronounce like this. AIDS. Now we all do know AIDS. Um, of course it's an acronym, but uh, it, you know, became so mainstream uh, as a word, as a term, that often in Dutch also it's, you know, just written like... Like this, like a normal, you know, lowercase word. So this one's important. I. I is much like I, just that it's longer, and for some reason, way more common. You find I pretty much everywhere. Hi, that's a shark. I'll write it down too. Hi, that's a shark. Hi, that's <laughs> hi. Um, then you have papachai, you know, uh, parrot. Lavai, noise. Uh, cry, you know, crow. But yeah, I is all over the place, so do know. I. It's a combination of a and e. So a, e, i. There you go. Pretty simple. Au. So that's au and au. Um, they look different, but yeah, like I said before, they mean the same. They look different, but they're totally like pretty much you know the same thing. The combination is of a and u. Now I know what you might think. What the hell is this? O and E, ah, I know, you might expect like a U, but this is what U looks like. I'll get to that in a different video, I mean, you know, you'll, you'll get about it, you, you, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this another time. A ah, and U, glide that, AU, pretty simple. Problem is though, because both AU and AU sound the same, mean the same, you just have to figure out, you know, by yourself in the learning process, um, which word uh, is written how, right? You just have to get a feeling for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take, for example, the word wood. It's not written... not written... Hout. It's written... 
house. That's correct. <sighs> that was it for today. I will see you next week with another one of these videos. Then we will talk about the uh, eu, i, and uh, er. So all the uh, vowel combinations, all the twee klanken um, that start with an e. That will be for next week. Uh, until then, have a great week.